Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Down the Waterhole, where drinks are drunk. Today, we're reviewing another Mountain Dew. This Mountain Dew, in particular, I have been looking for for at least two to three years. Ever since the New York trip, I've been interested in the brand Mountain Dew. I've been pretty much been trying nearly every major flavor that exists. Uh, I've tried the original, I've tried Code Red, Voltage, then we got the the democracies of, uh, of of those three. What was it? Distortion, Typhoon, and Whiteout. Which one? Then I wanted. I tried for the pilot, the uh, last game round of Game Fuel. By the way, the next round the I'll be getting some Game Fuel in the near future, which I've guaranteed my order. Thank you, American Fizz. And finally, I've been trying these two other special editions of Supernova and Pitch Black, which I still say is the best grape flavor on this show, despite the fact that I, in particular, fucking despise grape, because it has one flavor, and they don't fucking compensate for it. Which is why the grape flavor, which is the grape factor existing, because it's just one taste. But anyway... Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're trying the last Mountain Dew, f last Mountain Dew flavor, which is official. So, this is a regional specific. This was the third Mountain Dew to be introduced after the su success of Code, of Code Red and Voltage, the winner of the first Democracy. This was a limited. This was a tw this was a twice limited edition flavor, which ran for two two regions, which was 2003 and 2004. 2005, however, they made it permanent. Today, ladies and gentlemen. After two, after three years, we finally get to be trying some Mountain Dew Live Wire. Oh yes, an orange flavored Dew. Now this could be potentially be a great, massive contender, considering how how various the brand is. And that's my Skype turning on you, fucking bastard. Right. So, with this set in mind, take a look at the awesomeness that is this can. True, I was hoping to find something that was a little bit more of the um, old school one, which would indicate that you would actually get to bring this brand to the UK. Thank you very much, Pepsi, for embargoing the good p importers with a with a ban on most Mountain Dews, you stupid bastard, all because you couldn't get a legal patent in Europe, you tit. So, <clears throat> I've had an. Uh, there is no need for politics on this show. If it was, this would not be a down the waddle. This would be down the fucking. This would be annoying as fuck. Ow. So, so that said in mind, I don't want to waste anyone else's time. I think it's time to try the drink. Ladies and gentlemen, let's open up this bad boy and see if Livewire is all I've been expecting from a Mountain Dew. Let's take a whiff. That's a pretty good whiff, actually. That smells like orange juice. Pretty surprising, actually. That's another orange juice. So, conveniently, I actually have a cup nearby. So, let's pour the drink into the thing and see. Well. Well, folks, this is definitely what we like to call American orange. That's for sure. Interesting color. So. After three years of drinking Mountain Dew and trying the brand across the land, this is the last mean. F this is the this is one of the remaining ones missing. The only ones remaining missing for me to drink is Diet Mountain Dew and the two Game Fuels that are coming up in a couple of weeks. So let's get this out of the way. This is Lifeware. actually pretty nice. It has the consistency of most American oranges, but it has an but it has an orange juice taste. Which is very very strange actually. Let's try it one more time. This is sort of an after, it's a weird aftertaste. Hmm, that's definitely a weird aftertaste. I, 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 I'm not denying that is weird. This is definitely better than Orange Crush, so I can hear the pitchforks coming. But that aftertaste is slightly a bit off. Maybe it might have been a can or something. Let's have a look at the can. Uh, let's 
about a few months close to its expiry date, surprisingly. Anyway, this gets a 4 out of 5. Pretty good Mountain Dew. It jumps into second place. It's not as good as American as a, a Fanta. American Fanta. But this is a very good close second. It's way better than Crush. Despite Crush having a nice aftertaste, this is it had more of the artificial. Livewire has the has an orange juiced aftertaste, which is actually pretty good if you like that sort of official nice thing. So, with that said in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that's another Mountain Dew down, and that's an, and that's the end of the show. Uh, this is a pretty bit long one actually. I haven't done this in ages. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in I'll see you all in the near future. Bye for now.